What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, I gotta go ahead and say today's commentary is gonna be a pretty juicy one. Oh my god, when I first saw this, it came over on my Discord channel in the general chat. Uh, it gave me a pretty good laugh, I gotta say. It was a pretty good way to start off the day. And no, Owl, you are 110% correct. You did call this video. <laughs> <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and start this commentary, we are going to be checking out some M5 gameplay, playing on Discarded, obviously on Breakthrough. As we all know when it comes to Battlefield 2042, Conquest has been completely butchered in this game, so more than likely the majority of the gameplay that you see on this channel for any newcomers who are coming through today is more than likely going to be either Breakthrough or Portal in some type of way. And after this gameplay, I'm not sure what I'm going to go ahead and show, maybe some Nightbird gameplay or probably some more infantry, but at the end of the day, let's go ahead and push that aside because I really want to go ahead and talk about the topic today because, like I said, it's a really juicy one. Now, apparently, over on Reddit, I am not too hot of a topic. <laughs> a lot of the guys over there kind of don't like me, nor do they like my channel. Now, at the time of this post, it's only had about 395 likes, but it has gone up. I think it's around 500 now with about a little over 100 comments. But Dramatic Country went ahead and put out this post here saying, J-Bone the Man, possibly the biggest clickbaiter when it comes to milking any news about 2042. Now, I got to say, to start off, being a very small content creator and someone who's very passionate about this grind, someone who loves YouTube a lot, this is pretty awesome to go ahead and see, you know, my name being plastered up on the front page of Reddit, regardless if it's positive or negative. Just seeing that my name is semi out there is pretty darn cool, and I really do appreciate a lot of the support you guys do show me on the day-to-day -day basis. But yes, there are sadly some individuals out there who absolutely hate the content that we do over here. And I wanted to go ahead and make this video because I have to say this, because I understand that if you don't like what I make, you know, that's totally fine. Something I always say on my channel is that everybody's always obligated to their own opinions. That's why I always say I'm not any type of genius. I don't, you know, want people to go ahead and back up everything I say, and nobody does. My comment section is always completely filled with multiple different personalities, multiple different, you know, perspectives of the game, and multiple different ideas, and that's what I thrive for. That's what I want. I want people to be able to think of their own ideas, but listening to me in the background to spark up conversation, spark up, you know, your brain, make it think a little bit, and form your own opinions. And like I said, since everybody has their own opinions, not everybody's going to enjoy my content. But just because you don't enjoy the content doesn't mean others do not. The whole goal of my channel is to allow other individuals to be able to voice their opinions. Like I said, I always say in all of my videos, everybody is obligated to their own thoughts. And I want people to be able to come in, either developers or people who are working on the game, to come into some of these videos and not just listen to me. I don't care about what I have to say. I'm just sharing my side of things. I prefer them to come in and look at the whole perspective of this. See all the hundreds of people who voice their thoughts about different topics, different bits of news and information. That's the objective that I'm trying to do here. And I got to say, seeing people come in and judging my content as clickbait bullcrap it's kind of offensive, especially if they don't even put in the time to even see what my channel is all about. I mean, this individual, like I said, I'll put it up again here, only watched one video completely through, which I'm assuming he didn't get what he wanted out of clicking that video, I'm assuming. And then he only watched less than two minutes of two other videos and then instantly came to the conclusion that this whole channel is false information. If you watch my content enough, you know that every video is very simple to understand what it's about. I mean, pretty much over half of the videos that I upload here have literally in the thumbnail exactly what we are discussing. So if you're getting clickbaited when literally the point of discussion and the whole purpose of the commentary is right there in front of your eyes, I don't know what to tell you. I do apologize. Yes, the titles are very over-exaggerated. I agree on that. Everybody knows that. That's literally not a surprise. It's never been a secret. I've always been extremely open with telling people this. That's how YouTube works. But that's why I put more focus into the content itself. I have to make sure, like I said, I need a passion to this grind in order for people to enjoy my content. If this was clickbait bullcrap, my channel would have been dead by now. You have to understand, when you are very passionate about content creation, you have to almost treat it more than a hobby and almost like a business if you truly want to take things to the next level. And just like any other person out there, any small business owner, family-owned business, anybody out there, they are always passionate 
about what they're doing. They put their all, they put every last bit of effort, and they will do everything in their power to make sure that that business doesn't go under. And I do the same for this channel. And if that means that I need to up the thumbnails, if I need to up the titles, if I need to change my content around, I don't know what it means I have to do. But if it means to make sure that you know something that I'm very passionate about and something that I love to death doesn't go away, then you best believe I'm going to follow that exact pattern. If these titles were giving me any negative feedback, like a lot of people apparently are claiming since, you know, like I said, it's a lot of YouTube geniuses in the chats here who claim they know exactly what's going on and how badly my channel is doing now because of this, when truly it's not. If these titles were actually affecting the progress of this channel, I wouldn't be doing that. And that's what happens to clickbait channels. Clickbait channels they put out extremely, you know, clickbaity titles that have nothing to do with, you know, the actual topic itself, which I don't understand. Like I said, my titles are not clickbait. They might be a little vague. They might not completely 110% tell you what's going on, but never will I say, oh, season one dropping early, March 15th, coming right now. You're not going to see that. That's clickbait. That's clickbait. Not saying, wow, EA lies again. You know, something like that with a thumbnail that shows the exact image of what I'm talking about. It's vague, but it still gives you enough information that you're not being misled about the topic. And yes, I post videos every single day. You can say it's milking content as much as you want, but I am primarily a Call of Duty and Battlefield channel. That's what I make content about. And like I said, I will do anything in the world to make sure this channel thrives and people enjoy this content. If you don't like it, it's perfectly fine. I understand. I don't blame you. Like, I don't enjoy certain movies out there. I don't enjoy certain YouTubers. I don't enjoy, you know, certain TV series. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. If you don't enjoy my content, then so be it. But there's plenty of people out there who enjoy the daily videos, who watch them all the way through. I mean, yes, I'm the one that can see all the statistics. Once again, I don't understand why there's so many YouTube geniuses out here who apparently know the exact stats of my channel. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. My videos are doing absolutely fine. They're okay. And like I said, if daily uploads was negative for this channel, I wouldn't do them. It's as simple as that. But they only benefit the channel in the long run. And if the channel benefits, the community benefits. And at the end of the day, I always make sure I do everything for the community. I've lived by the statement my whole YouTube career. And honestly, I think it's the only way to go. Because if you don't understand this then you will never, ever, ever make it in any type of field when it comes to, you know, content creation. But you have to look past the views and actually see that number as a legitimate individual. Like I said, the community is the most important factor to any channel out there. And you have to make that priority number one. And I always have. I always will. And I will always make sure I make the content that everybody wants to watch and enjoy. Once again, I get countless amounts of people always coming into the comment section, even in that Reddit post, saying that, oh, there's so many people in the comment section saying it's clickbait and they hate his videos. Over half of the people who watch them are trash talking them. Let me let you scroll through some of my comments in my recent videos. How many comments do you see that are saying this is clickbait garbage or saying I'm milking this title? compared to the individuals who just enjoy it and want to state their opinions. There's maybe five, maybe three to five in every video out of 100 plus comments, 100 plus comments, three to five individuals. And that's, that's if we're lucky, usually it's zero, but three to five, I'm just, you know, giving you guys the benefit of the doubt is usually how many people you will see actually, you know, state something like that about the content we make over here. So, I don't, once again, I don't know where all these YouTube geniuses are coming from with these random statistics. But from what I see, you guys are happy. I'm happy. And, well, we're not happy. We're pissed off. <laughs> we're the opposite of happy. We're pissed off about Battlefield. And that's why we're making the content that we do here. Like I said, as long as our voices are getting out there, we, the community, are being heard. And we can potentially make any type of differences for the future of this franchise. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing here. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I am going to be live streaming about a couple of hours after this video goes live. Uh, we're going to be checking out Squad because I'm planning on making that video either tomorrow or the day after. Like I said, I've been wanting to make this video for such a long time. But every single time I try to produce it, some new interesting stuff comes out. Like I just, I couldn't ignore this. This was hilarious. I thought it was great. And I thought all of you guys would love to see this information on the YouTube channel. So I wanted to go ahead and rush this one out for you guys. But we're going to work on some other streams. Like I said, tune into that stuff. I got the links to all of that stuff down in the 
the description. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, bomb say I hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new, enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me, there's two ways to do so. I've turned in Discord, both of them are down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams of video games, and do it on Twitch. Link that in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.